the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, guys. Um, Welcome back to my channel. This is Nagato for another uh, PlayStation 4 tutorial. And today, basically, I'll be showing you guys how to merge PKG files and also how to get official updates by using an easy database tool made from uh, Octolus Net. Um, the, this PK up, or PKG update database supports a multitude of games from different regions, for example, um, and gets updated whenever an update patch is released via Sony's servers. Um, like MP servers and stuff. Uh, basically, the more uh, to elaborate more on that. So, for example, let's say if Grand Theft Auto Five, I guess today uploaded a patch to the server. Um, this database will have the most recent patch, and it will detail like which firmware you need to be on to install it. How big is like the file, the SHA, um, like the hash and stuff, and some other cool stuff I'm gonna get onto within the video. Um. Like that being said, uh, there's also a cool Twitter bot that's also been implemented called PS4 Patches, which is also connected to the PS4 PKG update server. So if you have a Twitter account, you could follow this uh, bot and basically any game that gets an update patch, it will automatically notify you. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So before we even get into all of this stuff, like to stay in my prerequisites, uh, you need a modded PlayStation 4 that's either on 1.76, 5.05, 5.55, 5.05, such and such. Um, the ability to use mirror and hand to, of course, enable the exploit and the webkit to get debug settings. And um, a USB flash drive, either 2.0 or 3.0, that's formatted to XFAT. I recommended uh, XFAT and having a USB that is at least 64 gigabytes due to the fact that uh, a lot of updates for ps4 games are huge so like um if you have grand theft auto 5 i think the 1.26 uh update for that game was like 17 gigabytes um we're going to also be using a program called ps4 pkg merge and that basically merges all the largest package files that is over four gigabyte caps since um sony basically on regular PlayStation 4 consoles anytime you update you basically getting uh, sent a bunch of package files that are individually cut to four gigabytes so let's say you download uh, an update file or this system automatically updates from the Sony MP servers of I don't know NBA 2k19 and basically it will send those files over in four gigabytes since we're doing it this way we basically got to merge all the packages in one since the PlayStation 4 can't read separate packages but um, I have the download links here and they'll also be in the description, any programs I use. Um, here's the credits. So credit goes out to Oculus Net for creating the tool, Al Azarif uh, for creating like the content IDs, Tustin for creating PKG Merge, and then Ghost to Me for making this tutorial. Um, with that being said, let's get started. So first things first, you wanna go ahead and open up Google Chrome and then you want to go ahead and type in this website called HTTPS PS4 Database IO. Um, it's a very nice uh, website with UI. I have a nice UI in, and basically it's pretty straightforward. So it's uh, it has two methods on basically how to search your game date, uh, game name. If you don't know your uh, title ID, well, most people don't know. If you have a retail copy of your disc and you look on a side binding of your game you'll basically get the um content id and i know with the cusa content ids those are for like the psn versions or digital version of the game your content id on probably on your game disc will be a little different like for example mine's i'm using kingdom hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 the japanese edition to do this tutorial so mine's on my box says pljm 84068 and if you don't want to go through all that stuff, finding the content ID, you could just Google it like GTA 5, EU, USA, content ID, blah, 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 or whatever game you have. But the easiest method, to be honest, is to go here. And it will basically, you can just search the game by title ID. So, of course, Grand Theft Auto 5 is like that top list. But today, um, I'll just do Kingdom Hearts since it's my favorite game. So, once you click search, it will pop up a bunch of 
the versions of the game so like for example uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 they have for Japan USA EU since I have the Japanese version of the game you want to go ahead and click on the version that uh, you know f the one that you have essentially so in my case Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 this is my title ID um, and then you want to go here and click on view patches and information once you verify your game and then it will show basically um, what patches are available uh, available to install so there's the 1.04 1.05 many games have different patches like GTA 5 has a ton and other games like you know Street Fighter uh, you know Horizon Zero Dawn um, Call of Duty of course they all have different types of patches but basically um, it tells you the SHA one hash how big other files are in this case uh, basically what you want to do is go ahead and download whatever version you want so let's say if I want I don't know 1.05 you want to go ahead and download whatever versions you see as many so it may be a couple of uh, multiple parts um in this case for me I would only have to download these two files right here so mine's is roughly like 4.5 gigs essentially and basically what you want to do is go ahead and click download I'm not going to do that since I already previously did that before in a video and I don't want to waste any more time so once you figure out which one uh, version you want to basically update on go ahead and click download and basically you're going to get two PKG files or how many you may get eight nine ten depending on the size of the game so once you figure out that go ahead and save it to wherever you want to your download section your desktop and then basically where you want to go is I'll show you real quick basically once you find it you want to go ahead and install this program called PlayStation or yeah PlayStation PKG merger and basically it will have this thing where we merge PKGs because anything that's over four gigabytes and package files you have to merge other than that your PlayStation 4 won't recognize it and then from there basically either you're gonna have to get your USB flash drive either um, at least it has to be at least 16 gigabytes because a lot of or that's like the minimum but anything that's higher than 64 gigabytes I highly recommend too because like I said before the um, update packages are huge for PlayStation 4 but in my case mine is only 4.5 but like with that being said I'm gonna show you guys how to um, merge your packages this way I was just trying to get that cleared out so from there um, I'm gonna go ahead and once you find your PKGs which you download it you want to go ahead and put it in this folder everything that I have is already basically set up um this is Tustin's tool so all credit goes out to him there's also a readme on how to basically install it too so you could um, elaborate it or elaborate on that more but from there once you put your two PKG files that you downloaded from a uh, PS4 uh, IO or the database you want to go ahead and go ahead and hit this called run.bat and basically what this game or what it's doing now is um, basically merging the packages and I'll explain on that more so package 0 and 1 basically your 0 package right here is your main package file if you have a, probably a bunch you may have the same title ID and it may be a v0101 underscore 1 v0101234 5 etc etc depending on how big your update is like the GTA one I think was like 14 or 15 uh, like PKG updates but once it merges and it may take you know either way from five to ten minutes all the way up to an hour two hours depending on how big the package is and how fast the computer can merge them and then basically once it's merged you get a message that says successfully merged whatever game you have in this case is Kingdom Hearts and then it will have a stop message make sure it says stop other than that it hasn't finished merging and then basically it won't successfully install if you want to go try to install it on your PlayStation 4 so in this case my stuff is already installed we're good to go and you could tell the file size got bigger so from here the game got you know much larger in size due to you know the PKG being larger so 
mine is 5.15 and then all you would have to do essentially is go plug a USB in so let me do that real quick and it should be popping up on a PC soon so once you have your USB here um, this is where you want to dump your uh, PKG files at so in this case here's the update right here and then from here you before you even want to uh, basically put your PKGs on there go ahead in properties and make sure your stuff is already formatted to XFAT or FAT32 I recommend XFAT but the way how you uh, format your system or free format your for, uh, hard or USB drive go ahead and hit format and then basically you want to toggle over to NTFS or XFAT or FAT32 go ahead and click FAT32 and then hit start on quick format um basically that's going to format your system but before you even format I highly recommend backing up your stuff if you do have stuff you care about on your USB drives um go ahead and back it up to your PC on or, or another flash drive so you won't lose that data cuz basically what it when it formats anytime on any hard drive most likely is going to um basically lose all your data but since I'm not going to do that I already had XFAT already um or the partition X I already you know made for this USB but once you get your um update merged and all that good stuff where you want to go to now is go ahead and just copy over I'm not going to do that also because since I have already uh, basically installed my or I basically transferred over so once you did that go ahead to your PC and safely eject your thing you never want to take a USB flash drive out Due to the fact that um you could corrupt the flash drive or corrupt the contents that are in the flash drive so I'm just putting that into my PlayStation 4 Pro now and then via remote play I'm gonna show you guys how to install a package file and it's pretty simple for the most part so give me one second to pop up remote play for y'all okay so may look a little bit grainy right now okay cuz I think I'm using Wi-Fi right now so it's kind of looking iffy but once you have you know hand and mirror um, basically and you use your webkit or whatever to basically get debug settings go ahead into your um, settings scroll the way down to your debug settings then go all the way down to your um, or don't actually go all the way down excuse me go to game go to package installer and then go ahead and install your PKG and then I'm not gonna reinstall it since I've already previously installed it and it will take a long time but you will click uh, it won't even get this message because if you don't ever or you didn't have the update installed before then you won't get this message but go ahead and let us do its thing and then once you're done you officially successfully um updated your ps4 um with that being said let me show you something one or one quick thing before i exit out this video um here is the twitter app that i was talking about and basically if you follow at ps4 patches as you can see that like they have a oh basically notify your phone it's a bot that basically searches the sony servers and finds games that get updated so for example like a dj max respect it tells you what version what required firmware and a title id and it basically keeps the history log of you know all the updates from the website and then you could just go click here and then it'll pop up the update if you want to uh, download it um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all the support I'm, I've been getting so far. Um, like I said, uh, this is Nagato, and thanks for watching.